Foundry from Elixir is a very popular add-on for Rapid Weaver that gives you complete freedom by breaking you outside of any constraints that might be imposed on you by a traditional theme in Rapid Weaver. It is a completely blank slate utilizing the power of stacks and Rapid Weaver's theme-based system to allow you to build a website from the ground up. So every element of the design is controlled by you utilizing Foundry, Rapid Weaver, and Stacks. Here at Elixir Graphics, you can go and learn more about Foundry and purchase it. And in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to install it and get it going. So let's first take a look at the download that we would receive after the purchase. And then we'll get a disk image that will open up here. And this gives us a presentation with two files. We have a stack file and a theme file. You can double click each of these independently or you can hold down your command key to select them both and then double click to install both of them. This will launch Rapid Weaver and the installer comes up and we will install those and click done. Now whenever you install an add-on for Rapid Weaver you will want to completely quit out and then reopen the software. And if you've looked at our tutorial on installing stacks, you'll note that these files are now inside of Rapid Weaver's add-ons library. In that case, we no longer need to have these files that we've just downloaded. If you'd like to archive them for backup purposes, you can do that, or you can throw them in the trash. They are installed for Rapid Weaver to use. So next, let's create a new project. We'll go to Add, select Stacks as the page. As Foundry is a Stacks-based add-on, it is necessary that you use Stacks pages for your projects in Foundry. So that's why we've added a Stacks page here to begin. Next, we'll need to go to the Themes tab in Rapid Weaver, and we will want to make Foundry our active theme. We can quickly find it by simply typing in the name in the search field and then selecting that. If you decide that you would like to use Foundry as your default theme for any new projects, you can right-click and make Default. All new projects will then automatically load with Foundry as the theme when you create them in the future. Next, let's look at the Foundry stacks that come with Foundry. In the search field in the Stacks Library window, we can type Foundry. If you are not seeing the Library window, you need to toggle that open using the Library button located here. All of these stacks are included with Foundry, and these provide different types of functionality for you to use as you build your website. Instead of having to search for those each time you want to use them inside of this library, which may contain the main stacks that come with the Stacks plugin, as well as other third-party stacks you may have purchased, I recommend that you add them to a custom library. You can do that by clicking the plus button down here at the bottom. And then we can give it a new library group name. I'm going to call that Foundry. We can choose an icon. I like to use the wrench, so I'm going to type that in and then set a color for that. Now when I click away, we can see the icon located here, as well as here, along with the name of the group. To add our stacks from Foundry to this group, we'll go back to the main library view, again do a search for the stacks, and then here you can actually do a command A to select all, and then right click, add to group, and Foundry. So now if I clear my search, which reveals all of my library stacks, and then come down to my new custom library group, I find only the Foundry stacks available in the list. Now Foundry doesn't require you to use only the Foundry stacks, but it's certainly a good idea to utilize them as much as possible. And so you would want to go here first as you look for functionality for your website before going to other stacks in your library or to other developers entirely. So this will be enough to get you up and running with Foundry in Rapid Weaver. If you want to learn more about Foundry, you can do so at elixirgraphics.com or at rapidweaverclassroom.com. Thank you for watching.